Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 spring version of MBA 59602 Digital Marketing. My name is Bill Rand, and I'll be your lead professor for this class, um, and I hope that you all enjoy it. Um, this um, particular video is basically going to go over some of the details that are specific to spring of 2020. As you go through this class, you'll see that there's videos that kind of are from this year and last year and the year before that, and so they're all different set of mixtures, but this one is specific to this year, just so that if I need to update anything or change anything, I can give you those aspects of it, right? Um, so the details for this class for this year, um, well, email me anytime. That pretty much stays the same all the time, but you know, wmrand at ncsu.edu. Usually the best way to get a hold of me, um, I try to return all emails in 24 and at the latest 48 hours, usually 24 during the week at least. Um, uh, you can also tweet at me. I do maintain active social media presence, so you can tweet at me at, at Bill Rand. My office is if you happen to be um, in the rally area, you can stop by my office at 2324 Nelson Hall. I'm generally there Mondays through Fridays, um, you know, but uh, let me know if, uh, if you're going to be around and I can make sure I'm there at that time. All class content for this class will be available on Moodle, right? So you can get any of the content you need directly from the Moodle. And the videos are all at youtube.com slash Bill Rand. In fact, I maintain a special channel just for this class at go.ncsu.edu slash MBA 590 YouTube. And if you just want to go to one place and get all the videos and all the content, uh, right now, the first week is up, and I will probably be putting up the next couple of weeks soon. I tend to upload and get it all put up in batches as I'm updating the materials from the previous years, making sure we're on pace and everything like that. Um, about halfway through the semester, usually I have almost all the content up for uh, the entire semester, but the you know, changes could be a little bit past that or something like that. Um, so you can do this course fairly self-paced. Um, there were there are a couple of deadlines and a couple of specific assignments and times that you'll need to pay attention to, uh, but you can kind of go at your own pace. And there is the group project, which the group project obviously you have to synchronize with your group members, so that part of it's definitely not self-paced. Um, office hours. So office hours, I do do office hours. I do them live on YouTube on Mondays this semester. It's going to be at 5 p.m. at youtube.com slash billrand slash live. And I will usually post you a um, um, an email that reminds you about that Monday morning as well. Um, so uh, you'll see it shortly um, then. Um, now, um, the way the office hours work basically is that they are live um, on YouTube. Uh, and if you log in, there's a little chat window where you can chat questions with me. Um, if you can't make it to the live office hours, you can always email me ahead of time and I will make sure and address your question during the office hours. Um, and if you miss the office hours, they are all recorded and then posted to the video feed, the same YouTube channel feed that is listed above, right? Um, so that's the way you basically can interact with me at office hours. If you want to see me in person for some reason, um, on I am available in my office on Mondays and Wednesdays for digital marketing in general, both the online and the offline sections at 12.30 p.m. So there is um, no required textbook for this class. Um, there is a um, set of readings that I will post on a weekly basis to Moodle, um, and one of them is up already about augmented reality. Uh, I tend to pull these from news, trade articles, academic articles on digital marketing. However, I do strongly recommend that you download the supplementary textbook, which is eMarketing, the Essential Guide to Online Marketing, uh, which is put together by a digital marketing agency out of South Africa, and they do a really good job of kind of making sure it's up to date and kind of keeping it really up to, to the latest technologies. Um, it's free to download, so that's a nice thing. Um, and if you want um, a hard copy, if that's really what you want, they can order one, but from what I understand, it's pretty expensive to ship it, so um, you might be better off just downloading the free copy, printing it out, and putting it in a binder if you really want a hard copy, right? Um, I always suggest that if you're interested in a particular topic, you supplement it with additional readings. And I try and point those out throughout the class. Uh, for instance, there's an optional podcast on augmented reality um, in this week's lesson. Uh, but there are a bunch of additional sources, too, that you can use to find those information out. eMarketer is a great online source that provides you facts and data about digital marketing. Mashable is a cool little website that has a lot of content that is relevant to digital marketing. 
course, there's always the Wall Street Journal, especially the tech and the marketing sections. Uh, I've been reading Wired since 1992 or whatever, the second year, second issue, I think it was. Second issue I think I had was available. There's an older website called Slashdot that tends to have a lot of content related to digital marketing and privacy. Uh, there's something called, there's a com uh, what used to be a physical magazine has moved into online, Fast Company, which often has a lot of good content about digital marketing. And then my favorite kind of maybe resource overall if about really getting into the weeds about the nitty gritty of how to do digital marketing at a tactical level is a podcast called Marketing Over Coffee, which really does a great job of kind of addressing those issues on a regular basis. So I suggest you check those out as you find the need to supplement the in-class readings and the, and the textbook. So how's the grading done in this class? So the grading, uh, primarily a big part of it is done based upon your group grade. So 30% of that will be based upon a written group project that you will turn in, right? So this is a document that describes an internet marketing plan or digital marketing plan that you've developed for uh, a particular company or not-for-profit that you're interested in working with. And we'll get into a little bit more of those details as we go on, right? Uh, but the general idea is I want you to identify a local company that you really want to work with or, you know, be a small medium company or it could be a larger company um, and try and develop a, 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 new, a digital marketing plan for how they should take their digital marketing in the future. Now for some small companies that might be they don't have any digital presence right like shocking but even in today's world there's still companies out there that don't have a very good digital presence. In most cases though nowadays it's going to be about updating their digital presence right maybe adding social media, adding other content, maybe doing paper, uh, paper uh, click advertising right. Um, so think about that. The one cautionary I know I would give you if you're going to work with a larger organization, right, um, is maybe not try and bite off the entire company, but rather think about a particular strategy or a particular product or a particular group and just develop a digital marketing plan for that particular smaller component of the larger company. So 30% of your grade will be the written document that describes that digital marketing plan. 10% will be based upon your basically creatives that you create. And, you know, these could be website prototypes, social media prototypes, email prototypes, whatever they are, right? Like different aspects that you would supplement um, the written plan with, right? 10% will be based upon a group project presentation. So you'll be expected to present your um, digital marketing plan to me at the end of the semester. And then, and for this class, it'll be in an online forum. So you'll use like, um, we'll use Blue Jeans or Google Hangouts or Meets or whatever you want to use, right? Uh, and you'll present your project uh, to me, right? Um, so that's the, that's the group grades. Now, you also get individual grades, right? And 10% of that is actually related to your group project because it's the peer review of the individual by the group members, right? So every, at the end of the semester, everyone gets a chance to review how much each of their partners contributed to the overall group project, right? And so that goes directly into figuring out their individual grade. There will also be two kind of midterms. These are, you know, like everything, these are take-homes, right? So there's a conceptual assignment and an analytical assignment. Um, usually have one to two weeks. It kind of depends upon the schedule. I think already, I know for this semester, you'll have one week for the conceptual assignment and one week for the analytical assignment, but the one week for the analytical is across spring break. So if you want to work on it over spring break, you can do that as well, right? Um, and then you'll have a 10% grade that's based upon participation. And we'll talk about that in just a second because um, we do participation in a uh, unique way for this particular course. Now, your letter grades uh, will be assigned around standard increments, but I reserve the right to shift upwards if the average GPA is not in the right place. So um, you can see more details about that directly in the syllabus document. I did also want to mention that this semester I'll be assisted uh, with the grading uh, by a teaching assistant named Kimberly Cox. She's helping me with both the um, online and the offline sections of this class. Uh, so if you see emails from Kimberly, um, you should you know, respond to them as if they were emails from me. Um, she has, uh, and Kimberly herself has a wide amount of experience in uh, marketing and in teaching in online forums. And so I'm really looking forward to having her on board and helping me with uh, the grading and the administration of the class in general, right? So as I mentioned, participation is graded in a slightly different way for this class. Uh, you will be expected to read the material each week that is assigned, so the augmented reality readings for this week, for instance, and then respond to a series of prompts in Top Hat. And Top Hat is an online platform that allows you to kind of uh, log in and allows us to keep track of um, your grades specifically. 
Uh, so to do that, you're going to need to sign up for Top Hat. You just go to tophat.com. You'll have to go through and select NC State University as your um, university. Uh, create your account, and then you'll it'll ask you to enroll in a course. And the code you're going to need for this particular semester is three six three five six nine. And once you sign that up, you'll then see a set of prompts. And there's two up there already for discussion. One is an introduction where you can introduce yourselves to each other and to me. Um, and the other is a uh, this first set of questions about the augmented reality reading. So you can go ahead and log in and start answering that. Now. The way I we grade participation is I just want you simply to um, read those questions, think about them, and respond to the augmented reality readings or the, whatever the reading is of that week, right? Um, and as long as you have an answer that has some thought behind it and has actually processed the materials, and that's pretty obvious, you get full credit for that class, for that particular response, right? And Kimberly, as I mentioned earlier, will be helping me to make sure that those um, that those answers are, are appropriate, let's put it that way. Um, and essentially the way participation works in this class is that as long as you respond to 70% of those um, prompts over the course of the semester, uh, you will receive full credit for participation, right? Um, if you respond to less than 70%, you'll receive whatever the grade is that's less than that, right? So um, really is there is some incentive to respond to that uh, minimum number. So finally, let me talk about what's going on this week. So this week, I simply want you to complete a survey, right? So this is a, a pre-course survey. That is a way for me to kind of get some ideas about you as individuals and who you are um, and kind of what your experience is coming into this class, right? Uh, there's also some fun little trivia questions that I throw in there just to kind of get you thinking about digital marketing experience and what's going on. I also want you to read the Wall Street Journal article and watch the video on augmented reality that's available on the Moodle, right? And so you can go in there to find it. And, uh, you know, and this, this article is actually becoming, you know, I, I first signed, signed this article, I think, three years ago now, right? But it's amazing to me how relevant it still is to discussions that are going on around augmented reality and its place in, virtual, in digital marketing. So... I, I, even though the article is getting a little old, I still think it's a very relevant article. But because it's a little old, I decided to update it a little bit with a podcast this, that's from about two months ago on augmented reality. Um, and it's from a show called uh, uh, Stuff You Should Know. Um, and I put up a link on the Moodle. Um, it is um, to Spotify, but if you don't use Spotify to listen to your podcast, you can quickly download stuff you should know on any of your major podcast apps. And then you're going to search for, I believe it was in November, there was a particular episode on augmented reality. It should be pretty easy to find. I was able to find it pretty quickly. I don't use Spotify. I use um, Pocket Cast, and I was able to find it on there fairly quickly. Um, so go ahead and look for it on there. Um, this is optional. It's an hour long, so I don't know if I really wanted to require everyone to listen to the hour. It kind of trades off with other things I can require you to do. Um, so, but if you want to, though, you know, I recommend listening to it. Um, I listen to almost all my podcasts at 150% speed, so it really is only about 40 minutes once you do that, so, um, or a little bit less than that even. So I think it sounds like it's a full hour. But anyways, after you've listened to that, after you've read the articles, you go on Top Hat, Respond to the questions on there, and uh, kind of um, uh, that's all you need to do for this for that part of the assignment. Right? One last thing: um, this is not necessarily this week, but I want you to be aware of it. Is that by January fifteenth, so the middle of next week, um, I want you to go ahead and submit your preferred group team members. Um, I will, you know, and basically just go on the line. There's an assignment, and you just type in the names, and I only need one turn in poor group so not everyone has to turn them in right um, and if you don't have a group or if, um, you know you don't have enough people in your group then go ahead and turn it in and I'll, I'll kind of play matchmaking the, the expected size is about five people but you know if you have four or six that's okay and we can usually make it work uh, but on the other hand if you have two or three go ahead and turn in I may match you up with some other people in the class right? and If you have no one else if you don't know anyone else that you want to work with just submit your assignment by yourself It's just your name and I'll put you on the team Okay, and then you know I usually give me about a week to get the final teams nailed down and and we'll go from there 
Finally, as supplement to the rest of the materials for this semester, for this um, uh, week, I uh, recommend checking out Chapter 22, which is the appendix of the textbook, uh, which describes the history of the Internet, and it kind of goes along well with some of the, the videos that you're seeing. Um, yeah, so um, obviously in addition to everything else here, I want you watching the videos this week uh, and going over all those. So thanks, everybody. That's it for my update for the spring of uh, 2020. I hope I'm really looking forward to this class. I always love teaching this class because I love the concept of digital marketing, and I think we're going to have some interesting uh, discussions. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email or tweet at me. Uh, take care for now.